Mike, 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 Mike. What day is it, Mike? <laughs> Leslie, guess what today is? It's hump day. Woo -woo! Hello, everyone. Retro Rob here. And you know what today is. You know what today is. It's your favorite day of my day. It is another fun episode of Wild Wednesday Baseball Card Mystery Packs. And today I got three packs here from Joel in Indiana, and he's calling this his vintage baseball mystery pack. So everything is pre-1979. So all cards will be 79 older. You'll receive 15 cards total. There will be no 80s or 90 cards whatsoever. So he says that many of the cards are randomly inserted. All these will be a hit, but most will be. So what we bought three packs. We are all in at $31.77. So let's see what we get in here from Joel in Indiana. And I've got my trusty left-hand scissors here, of course. Oh, uh, and of course there is a receipt in there. So whoops. There's a receipt in there, so let me pull that out a second. Uh, all right, there it is. And we're gonna get some chromy foil packs, that's for sure. It is protection, protected for your protection and mine, as always. Oh, uh, let's see, man, okay. Uh, there we go. So we got the three packs here. I'm just going to go at random here. So we're just going to go left to right here. We don't need to flip because we've got three packs. Look at that foily goodness. Oh, hippy dippy. Catch the rainbow trip. So here we go. Here comes the first pack. About three packs. Again, all in at $31.77. So let's hold him to the test. Let's see if we get all vintage. And here we go. And... Good. There is our first pack, and we're gonna start off with the 1973. So can't go wrong with that. Oh, I gotta love 73s. Last year of the series. Oh, there it is. We're gonna start off with a Mike Marshall 1973 tops. Let's see if that's high series or not. It's in the middle. Oh, but the dreaded, uh, uh, dreaded uh, writing on it. What is up with 73s that everyone wanted to write on them? So unfortunately, there is a KA. So whoever KA is, I'm very upset with you because you wrote on your cards. So there it is, Mike Marshall of the Montreal Expos. Up next, we got 1972 tops of Wes Parker from the LA Dodgers. And uh, that was not, that was a really, really bad shape. Uh, there's some creases, uh, yeah. Uh, kind of stain there. Number 265. No one wrote on that one, though. Just very, very, very beat up. So there is that card. Wes Parker from the Dodgers out of 72. Up uh, next, we're going back to 73 with the St. Louis Cardinals team there. So let's see they wrote on this 73. This one is actually not in bad condition. That corner's a little weak. But other than that, not too bad. Nope, just regular 219. Up next, from 1978, we got Mike Vale from the New York Mets. Well, unfortunately, another gouge card. I am in the gouge card business, or SW says rubber band, so it could be rubber band. I probably might go with rubber band on that one. But I'll beat up. There's a lot of creases in there. Uh, yeah, not a good condition card for 1978, but it's Mike Vale of the Mets. Up uh, next, we got Randy Moffitt of New York Giants. I have a 77. San Francisco Giants. That one's in pretty decent shape. We'll take that. After that, we got Mike Ivey from San Diego Padres. 1976. Oh, that one's not bad either. There is the Tops All Star Rookie Cup. You gotta love the Rookie Cup. I love it. Oh, there he is, Mike. Ivy. Up uh, next, we got 1975. We got Dick Tidrell there from the New York Yankees. Actually, for 75, that's in good shape. So we're getting all kinds of condition cards here. So from really good to really bad. So what are you going to do? It is what it is, but that one is in really good shape. It's Dick Tidro. I'm a 1975. So very nice. New York Yankees. After that, got 1974. We got Doc Ellis there. Uh, Mr. LSD trip himself. So there he is. I'm a 74. Pittsburgh Pirates. That's in pretty good shape. 145. After that, we got almost back-to-back -back Dick Tidros. So we got 74. We got 75. 
Look at that. I mean, it is the Dick Tidro pack. You gotta love it. That one's on a 74. It's in good condition, but man, it is all centered. But what are you gonna do? Well, there it is. Dick Tidro number two out of 74 for the Cleveland Indians. After that, got another 1975. We got Manny Seguin of uh, the Pittsburgh Pirates. And there he is. That's not a bad shape either, so we'll take that. Up next, there's a nice little card there. 1974 All-Stars of Jim Catfish Hunter and Rick Wise. So a very nice card there. And that is in good condition as well. After that, we got 1975 Frank Tanana. So very nice. Another All-Star Rookie Cup. There he is. We will take that. That one's in average condition, but still very nice. Uh, Frank Tanana. After that, we got Carlos May on a 1973 from the Chicago White Sox. In good condition. We got number 105. After that, we got our first card from the 60s. We got Joe Grisenda of the Minnesota Twins on a 1969. Uh, very nice. There it is. Uh, we will take that. Uh -huh. After that, boom, we got our first little hit there. We got Joe Morris from 1976, the big red machine there. That's in pretty decent, that's in average condition. Not the best, not the worst. Oh, uh, very nice. Joe Morgan, uh, that's probably going to be our first hit of the, uh, probably be the hit of the of the pack here. So there it is, 1976 of Joe Morgan. And the last card is going to be Boots Day of uh, the Montreal Expos. Looks like he's caught between the catcher and the shortstop there from the Giants. So there it is, 1973. That's an average condition, number 307. So tell me what you think. They're all, uh, they're all older than 79, so that's for sure. Conditions, eh, some good, some bad. What are you going to do? Oh, got one little hit in there with Joe Morgan. So let's see if the second pack comes with anything good. Well, here we go. There is pack number two. So, gotta love my 70s cards. So just love the cards from the 70s. So, here we go. And we're gonna start off with a 1974 Montreal Expos team card. Oh, yep, I can get it open. Man, that pack's in there pretty good. So there's the Montreal Expos. Looks like it's in good condition, so we will take that. 1974. Oh, the Montreal Expos. Up next, we got Oscar Gamble there with his fro hair, man. That is awesome. Looks like he's got Mickey Mouse ears, man. I always loved the Oscar Gamble cards. Oh, there it is. 1975. Not in the best condition. That uh, corner is really crinked over, so what are you going to do? Still a very nice card. You got to love that. That is the quintessential 70s card right there. With the Bedrock C there, with the Indians and uh, Fro here. You just gotta love it. That is a great card. I love it. Oscar Gamble, 75. After that, we got Storm and Gor Gorman Thomas there. And the Milwaukee Brewers. That one is 74. Uh, and that's in good condition. So very nice. We will take that. After that, we got another 1974. We got game seven of the. Uh, World Series there, Oakland beats the Mets 5-2. to two. That's when they were really getting into their dynasty there with the Oakland A's. Uh, there's Burt Campanaris there. Very nice. Always love these cards. Shows all the batting stats and all that. It's kind of cool. I like that. Up next, we got J.R. Richards of the Houston Astros. 1975. This one's a little worse for wear, but what are you going to do? There he is, J.R. Richards. Man, such a good pitcher. Uh, rest in peace, buddy. Yeah, too bad. There we go. Up uh, next, got Jim McAndrew out of the New York Mets on a 73. That was in good condition. And a little, getting a little higher up there. 436, so we'll take that. And up next, we got a 1969 Red Sox stars of Joe LaHoud and John uh, Tidal. Oh, I'm pronouncing that right. Tibadol. Tibdal. Don't say Tibdal. It's kind of fun to say Tibdal. Not in the best condition, but still. Nice 1969 there. Low numbered. After that, we got 1973. More Oakland A's. This is the Oakland A's World Series pack. So there they are as the world champions beating the Reds. Before the Reds got really, really good. Uh, it's pretty. 
it's not in bad condition, just off center there. Oh, there it is, 1972 with the final stats. Uh, 73 there. Oh, man, got some Tigers love there with Ed Farmer. Ah, 1974. That's an average condition. Very nice. And up next, boom, we're going to get a nice little hit there. 1957 of Jim Lennon of the Washington Senators. There it is. It's not in horrible condition either. It's pretty decent. Number 57. There you go. Get a good look at that. Uh, that corner is a little weak. But other than that, that is a great card for a 1957. So there's our first 50s hit. Uh, we will take that. Oh, very nice. After that, we got uh, Vincent Romo of the San Padres. That one's not in the greatest condition for 75, but we'll take it. And then we got more Oscar Gamble love. There he is. Sliding into the base there. Cleveland Indians. So very nice. Uh, what a great card there. With the action shots of the mid 70s. This one has a wax stain on it. Hey, what are you going to do? Number 372. Oscar Gamble. Oh, very nice. Up uh, next, got Dave Tolman on 1978. Well, the San Diego Padres, that card's in good shape. Well, that corner's a little crease there. What are you going to do? Number 86. After that, we got Rico Cardi of the Toronto Blue Jays out of 1977. Well, that's in pretty good shape. So there he is. Well, he's able to list twice, man. What's up with that? Oh, oh there's a big gouge right there. I didn't see it. And a crease. So it's not as good as I thought it was. So what are you going to do? Up oh, next, we got my Cubs love. There he is. There's Jose Cardinal. Oh, the Chicago Cubs. Look at him all smiling because he's playing for the Cubs. That's why. There he is. Number 185. Oh, that's in pretty good shape. So, oh, no, that's not in good shape. Man, I'm speaking too soon. Crease, crease. Nah. What are you going to do? And the last card of this pack is going to be Gary Matthews on a 1976. It's in average condition, and it's off-centered. So we got one card in the 50s, so we will take that all day long. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get a sleeve card here, so I don't spittle on it because I talk a lot, that's for sure. Oh, there we go. Here goes pack three. Tell me what you guys think. Uh, you like it? Don't like it? You know, considering these are all... Considered vintage, that's always a plus because that's what I'm looking for when I open these. So at least he's giving you that. Looks like he's throwing you one little hit in there of the rest are commons, but you know it's gonna be this one's gonna be tough to judge. I will give it that. So here we go. Tell me your thoughts. Leave that comment. Oh, uh, here we go. Boom! And that got started out in 1973 there of Earl Williams of the Baltimore Oreos. Oh, here we go. Started off here at a 73 with Earl Williams. So very nice. Good condition card. Uh, number 504, a little higher up there as well. So up next, we got Tommy Harper of the Boston Red Sox. Man, that card's in good shape. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's a wax back though. So that's unfortunate. Number one, or 325. After that, we got from the St. Louis Cardinals, we got Mike Phillips. I'm a 78. That is in good condition. Uh, we will take that. So after that, we got uh, Kent Tech Love of the Pittsburgh Pirates there. So 1977 tops. Well, that corner's a little weak. Well, that, not too bad. We'll take that. After that, we got a 1966 of the Power Blast from the Philadelphia Phillies. We got Wes Covington and Johnny Callison. A uh, very nice card there. It's in good, really good shape, actually. It's just off-centered. So a very nice card. We will take that all day long. Oh, uh, there is the back. Number 52. It's low-numbered. What are you going to do? You're going to take that because look at them smile in there. Wes Covington and Johnny Callison. Oh, uh, the Philadelphia Phillies. Uh, very nice card. We'll keep that aside. After that, we got a 1976 of Tommy John. Uh, that's an average condition. I'm a 76. Tommy John of the Dodgers. After that, we got Fred Norman there and a very, very beat up 74. <laughs> There's a crease right down the middle there. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm trying to show there. There it is. You can see it. I can see it on the camera. Yeah, that's a very beat up Fred Norman. Poor Fred Norman. You don't deserve that. There he is. Cincinnati Reds. 
I got another 1974 there. Bob Oliver from the California Angels. So that one's in good shape. So we will take that. Up next, Bill. We got Steve Carlton from 1977. Well, there's a nice little hit right there. That's not in bad shape. That's a very, very faint crease there. But other than that, it's not too bad shape. So we'll take that. That's another little hit there. The Phillies are coming out big time here. No Mike Schmidt, though, but we'll take Steve Carlton any day of the week. After that, we got uh, Claudel Washington of the Oakland A's. Uh, 1975. That one's not in the greatest condition, but you get the Topps All-Star Rookie Cup, so you got to love that. Uh, up next, we got Juan Marshall of the Boston Red Sox being traded to them. Well, there it is, Marshall makes bull socks yonderful wow that's a mouthful oh uh, wonderful wonderful i get it now come on that's a joke tops is getting a little uh funny funny there so not a bad looking card it's in good shape we will take that probably one of the better cards you can get from the traded series so very nice Oh, uh, now we've got 1971 uh the game two of the al playoffs mcnally makes it two straight Oh, Baltimore versus the Twins. Very nice. I mean, for a 71, that's not horrible, actually. Um, that corner's a little weak. But overall, I'll say it's about average for a 71. That's not bad. After that, we got 1973 of Clyde Wright of the California Angels. That one's in good shape. Oh, very nice. 373. After that, we got Jim York of the Houston Astros. I'm a 76. That one's in average condition. And after that, we got Ted Sizemore of the uh, St. Louis Cardinals, 1975. That one's, again, average shape. And that last card is going to be Chris Beyer sliding into home. That's a sweet picture. Look at that. You got to love that. I mean, for 73, that's quite a shot. I kind of always loved the horizontal cards, too. They're kind of always made it a little special. Unfortunately, it has a wax stain on the front. But what are you going to do? Well, this is a second year card. So, uh, 273. Well, not a bad card. Well, there we go. I got a little bit of adding up to do. So, I think overall, I think this isn't too bad. What do you guys' thoughts are? So, leave that comment. Tell me what you think. I got some adding up to do. And we'll show the highlights. And we'll give it our thumbs rating. So, look out for that. And give me a few minutes. And I will return with the highlights. All right, we are back with those three packs from Joel in Indiana. And you can see what we got down there. He promised everything he said. There was cards from all this, the newest cards from 1978 and as far as 1957. So uh, first pack here ended up being Beckett Low of $14.82. And the best card of the bunch was... This, of course, this 1976 Joel Morgan. It was back at low at eight bucks. Um, you know, it kind of has some ding corners, but other than that, not too bad. Again, can't go wrong. They're all, majority of them from the 70s. I don't think there was, I think there may have been one 69 in here. Um, I think they each had one from the 60s as well. So, very nice pack, first one. That was actually my highest uh, valued pack, was the first pack right there. There's that 79. Um, all decent cards. Uh, some were in really good shape, some were not, but that's the way it goes sometimes, when it, especially when it comes to vintage. The second car, second pack here ended up being Beckett Low of $13.25. Again, the best card is going to be that 1957 Jim Lemon of the Washington Senators. Very nice card. It's in pretty decent shape, too. Oh, there's the back, number 57. We will take that. And again, a good example of 1970s cards in there as well. As you know, I love the 70s, so very nice pack as well. And that last pack that was the worst of the three, but still not too bad. Uh, the best ranked card there was Steve Carlton from 1977 there. That was Beckett Low of four dollars so all in all I, I i liked what you did here i mean you can't get more basic than vintage cards um he said what he said and i can't be disappointed in this whatsoever um this is probably one of the better ones i've come across in quite a while actually so 
uh, pure vintage cards. So this is quite the uh, packs that they got going for here. So I spent $31.77 for these three packs. Beckett Lowe for all three packs I ended up being $39.07. I made $7.30. So not only did I get what I wanted, nice vintage cards for the most part. You know, there was a couple of bad ones. The probably only downfall of this thing was, you know, some of the cards were not in the best shape. But you know what? You're going to get that no matter what, I think. No matter where you go. I mean, there's some very nice cards in here as well. Sharp quarters and all that. Just not everyone can't be a gem. We all know that. So that was probably the only downfall was some of the conditioning of the cards. But other than that, I am very, very pleased. And I think you know how I'm going to rank this. I'm going to rank it from anywhere from two thumbs up to two thumbs down. I'm going to give this one two thumbs up. Hey. Yes, man. I'm going to buy some more. I do a best of on this stuff because this is fun. This is what it's about. When you find, when you put in vintage mystery packs, this is what it should be about right here. You're not going to get all star players. I know that. I, 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 you go into this expecting the worst and hope for the best. And that's exactly what I got out of this. I'm very, very pleased. One card from the 50s. I think I ended up with three cards from the 60s. The rest were 70s, which is fine. I love the 70s cards trying to get all the sets from the 70s that's what it's all about so let me know what you thought did you like this did not like it give me your thoughts leave that comment if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe it helps me out so much and we're growing we're over 500 and i promise you the giveaway winners will be announced soon here i'm playing catch up here so Look out for that in the next couple days. It is coming out soon. So hopefully you can get your comments in. You got another day. I'm going to give you a hat another day. <laughs> get it in. So make sure you got your uh, comments in that 500 giveaway so you can win some cool cards from me and the grand prize 500 cards. So thank you for watching. Retro Robbie saying collect what you love.